Hi, hope you're doing good. Hope life is treating you well this week. Um, well, welcome to this week's midweek meditation. I just wanted to come and share with you some kind of more practical ideas and thoughts um, that we can use to just bless other people this week. As a community of believers, you know, one of our core values is to uh, be a community that blesses others. So I think it's important for us to be deliberate about that and just every once in a while just to have a little think about how we could do that and and consider ways in which we can bless others and be an encouragement to other people and um, well i've been quite inspired by my kids over the summer i've spent a lot of time with them over the summer holidays and i've noticed that they're always and forever making stuff they are so creative they're always uh, drawing or singing or uh, making dance routines or taking pictures or building towers or they just love to make things and they love sharing that experience with others. They love to give their, their drawings away or they love to perform their songs and their dances and they like to join in with others in making things and, and creating together and, and sharing what they've made. Um, and I've noticed this about a lot of kids actually, that they seem to have this just natural instinct to create and to make stuff and I think it's something that God has given all of us. I think creativity is something that he has put in all of us and that ability to make things um, and it can be such a blessing to receive something that is made for you by someone else. But I think as we get older we get a bit hung up on whether it's good or bad or whether it's uh, better than somebody else's or worse than somebody else's thing and we kind of lose sight of that creativity that God has given us and we often stop using um, that tool that we have um, to bless others which is why I just wanted to challenge all of us this week to spend a little bit of time making something for someone. Now, I know that life is busy. Um, I know that you probably have a hundred things on, so this doesn't have to be some big thing. It doesn't have to be, you know, a big piece of art or anything elaborate. It might be something really small and simple. Uh, it could be just a note. It could be a little uh, card or it could be a poem. It could be a photograph. It could be a picture. You could bake something. I don't know what it is that you're good at, um, but spend some time making something for someone. Um, and you might want to spend a little bit of time with God first just to pray about the people in your life and to ask him who he would want you to go and encourage. Um, you know, you could even write maybe some names down if that helps you process that. But just choose somebody in your life who you want to encourage and pray for them and spend a little bit of time making them something. Now I know that some of you feel more creative and, and some of you don't and, and some of us maybe d wouldn't call ourselves creative um, but don't let that be a disqualifier you know this doesn't have to be something artistic it doesn't need to be a painting it doesn't need to be a song it might be something super practical um, that that would just be helpful for that person so spend some time in prayer um, and pray for that person and also just make them something something small to say that you care about them that you're supporting them that you encourage them um, and then obviously you know make the effort to to give that to that person and and pray that it blesses them um, I hope that you find that helpful I hope you find it exciting as a way to engage uh, in blessing others and and just as a something different to maybe uh, do this week deliberately to think about the people in your life and and to to be a blessing to others um, as and when you know some, you find something that works or you know maybe you feel encouraged by something somebody else has given you feel free to share that as well you know and to kind of um, you know make sure that we all are aware of the things that God is doing in your life and, and the, the ways in which he is encouraging you through others but also if you find something that is helpful and it has been a good way for you to engage in this then share that with a friend or somebody so that you know you can help them out and maybe think about how they could be a blessing to somebody else. Well, I hope that you have a really, really good week and I hope that you have lots of fun making stuff for people and I will see you soon.